God started to shake Abram's life with his divine persuasion of pistis in the Greek. It is commonly known as faith. I've got to have faith, the faith, the faith. I've got to have faith, the faith, the faith. The baby. Anyway, pistis or faith is always a gift of God and never something that can produce by people. In other words, God began to persuade Abram of his love by showing him the proof that is in Jesus Christ and him crucified. It is clearly stated in Galatians 3 verse 8 that God preached the gospel to Abraham. The crux of the gospel is the resurrection of Jesus the Christ. Therefore, no resurrection of Jesus, no gospel. Hence, God must have mentioned the resurrection of Jesus Christ when he preached the gospel to Abraham. Abraham believed in the resurrection of Jesus the Christ, the beloved Son of God, in human form, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Abram saw from a distant future what we now possess as a reality. It is stated in Romans 4 verses 20 to 22 that Abraham was convinced that God would do everything he promised. For Abraham to be convinced, he must have first been persuaded. Who or what persuaded Abraham? I submit to you that it was God who persuaded Abraham to believe in his love for him by the perfect image of God's love, Jesus Christ and him crucified. God revealed to Abraham the salvation plan that would be accomplished by Jesus Christ and him crucified. It was through that revelation of Jesus Christ and him crucified that God persuaded and eventually convinced Abram of his love for him. The process of divine persuasion can be seen in these five chapters. Genesis 12, 15, 17, 18 and 22. Let us dive into each chapter to witness how God persuaded Abram.